What's up you data friends, it's Yanis here and welcome to my channel. Now this video is just to give you a heads up that things will be challenging if you are looking to get a job into data science during this pandemic. And as the title says, you're going to have to up your game. Now the reason I'm saying this is very simple. As you can see in this graph over here, the US job postings on Indeed declined dramatically in 2020 due to coronavirus. So you can see there is this massive drop. Additionally, this graph shows the same from Indeed. This website says that the UK job vacancies fall 31% in less than four weeks, according to the job site data. And also here in CNBC, it says that 60% of employers have reduced hiring in the last month due to coronavirus. So all these news around are saying that new jobs are declining. So there is not a lot of jobs in the market. Now, from the other side, if we read some additional news, we can see that the unemployment rate is spiking. As you can see here, you can see the spike over here. You can see the same spike over here. This is in the US, 7 million. And BBC says that the pandemic sends US jobless rate to 14.7%. So from one side, we have the new job postings going down. And from the other side, we have people losing their jobs. And some of those people who lost their jobs are skillful and experienced data analysts and data scientists. Hence, you will have to compete with those people, people with skills and experience to get a job in data this year, which is going to be very challenging for you. Therefore, your solution will be to up your game in terms of data science skills. And I suggest to put all your effort and energy in learning things that matter and that are actually going to help you to land a job where you want. For example, do not rush into deep learning and neural networks if the companies you are applying for do not do video, audio or image analysis. And let's face it, there is not a lot of companies out there doing that as it's very niche. Instead, focus on things that will actually make you more employable and helpful to your future team. Learn more about SQL and Python for data analytics and machine learning. Work on projects like classification, segmentation, churn prediction, forecasting, price optimization and campaign optimization versus face recognition or self-driving cars. These projects will increase your odds in landing a job in data science as all companies will have those sorts of projects. I would also suggest learning how to use visualization tools like Power BI, Tableau or ClickSense as these tools will help you communicate your insights, your analytics and your machine learning predictions with the wider business. It's not like you can actually run some Python code over here where I have a linear regression model with my predictions and then share this with the wider business and expect them to run the code and get the results and understand all the analysis. This is not how it works. First, you have to run your code in Python, then you have to save your results in a database, and then you send that data or you deploy your model in visualization tools or in the website or in a different application. Hence, learning how to use these visualization tools is actually going to make you a lot more employable to the business. Last but not least, I highly recommend you spend some time to improve your communication skills. As we tech people tend to focus on the technical stuff and we completely ignore communication, which is extremely important as a data scientist. I'm going to have a link in the video description below where I go through the whole data science journey, where I suggest free resources and free courses online for you to practice. Right, to conclude, what I want you to keep from this video is that I want you to practice on things that matter and things that will actually help you land that job instead of focusing on other cool stuff that will not actually help you land that job. Right, so I hope you enjoyed this video and you've gained enough value out of this video. And if you feel like you did, please click the like button, subscribe to my channel and enable notifications for my future videos. If you have any questions, please let me know in the comments below. Otherwise, thank you very much for watching this video and I'm going to see you in the next video.